Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer and I'll show you a different vehicle engine in each video. Follow me. This video is aimed at trained professionals, not DIYers, okay? Let's go. Today I have a 2003 Citroën C5 for you. This is a 1.8 litre 16V 85 kilowatt engine with engine code 6FZ. For this engine you need a CT1138WP1 timing belt kit plus water pump and our toolbox VO3. You use these two tools to lock the crankshaft. You insert one tool at the front through the belt pulley and the second tool goes through the gearbox flange here at the back into the flywheel. Then you lock the camshafts at these points here with these two tools. You've now locked the timing gear correctly. You can now fit the new components. To do so, loosen the tensioning pulley, remove the belt and then fit the remaining new components from our kit. When you change the water pump, take care to thoroughly clean and flush the coolant circuit first. Then fill the cooling system with coolant and distilled water. When fitting the pump, do not apply any additional sealing compound paste to the seal that is already there. When fitting the new tensioning pulley, you need to note the special fitting position. This recess here has to be positioned over this fillet. Now fit the belt in the following sequence. You start at the crankshaft, continue around the idler and camshafts before moving to the water pump and then finally going around the tensioning pulley. You tension the timing belt by moving the tensioning pulley eccentric counterclockwise until the pointer is in this position. You over-tension the timing belt initially and then slacken it off again, setting it to its final position aligned with this groove. Then tighten the tensioning pulley screw. Why was it important to over-tension the belt initially? We are dealing with brand new rubber. The rubber teeth are large and first have to be made to conform to the belt pulley. By over-tensioning the belt, we pull the rubber teeth into the belt pulleys. This ensures that the rubber conforms to the belt pulleys and avoids later settling. Then remove all the locking tools and turn the engine over 10 times in the direction of engine rotation. Then set the engine to top dead center at cylinder 1 again and check the timing belt tension at the tensioning pulley. OK, almost done. You now just have to complete the engine. Follow the manufacturer's specification, particularly when it comes to the torques. Remember, gently does it. Don't forget our quality mark. Place our change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment, so the customer sees that you've installed quality.